popping up everywhere in recent years. That's because matcha is taking over by storm in the United States. But what exactly is it? And how do you make it? And what's it all about? Well, when we have questions about tea, who do we turn to? We turn to Sherry Waters, the owner of the Pauline Tea Bar Apothecary. How are you? I am well. Thank you for having me. I'm so glad you're here. You have two locations now. Mm -hmm. um, tell people where the two locations are. So we have one on Artie Avenue near Wilkinson and Moorhead mm -hmm. and one on Beatty's Ford Road near Oak Lawn. And your mission is? To um, invite people to have a taste of serenity and respite in our tea lounge. I love tea. I've been drinking a lot of tea lately. I've been drinking a lot of matcha lately. Let's talk about matcha. What is it? So matcha is a Japanese green powdered tea. Okay. So it's very, very uh, concentrated because of the powdery, uh, it's powdered loose leaf tea. So it comes from a leaf. It comes from the Camilla sinensis plant. And yes. then it's ground? It's ground and and very finely, like a powder. So you can see it there. This is what it looks like. Hey, Jordan, mm -hmm. can we get Jordan to come in here so he can show yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So people can very see what it Very beautiful like. green. It's really beautiful green. Um, and then is what else do you need in order to make matcha tea? Because people are used to, okay, mm -hmm. I've got the tea leaves and I've got the, mm -hmm. either the thing, what do you call that thing? The whisk. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, no, mm -hmm. the th when you use the tea leaves and you put it in the thing. Oh, uh, the, 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 yeah, of course, the thing, the yeah, the tea yeah, thing, the, the thing. tea thing, that the tea use. cup, yes. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And then you've also got like pre-bagged tea, mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. with this, it's very different. Yes, Tell it is. It. So all you need for matcha is mm -hmm. just hot 80 degree water. 80 degrees. So you want to get it right before the boil. And the way you make the matcha mm -hmm. is with the, you just start with a little bit of water. Okay. And you add just a little bit of maybe a teaspoon, okay. and you make a paste first. Hmm. You make a little paste with it. Oh, it smells so good. And it, this is really good. The good thing about matcha is that it has a lot of antioxidants in it. It has vitamins A, C, D, potassium, lots of minerals. Hmm. So once you get it kind of like a, a, a thick paste, mm -hmm. then you Use your whisk. Okay. Now, this is not a traditional whisk. This is a modern little um, frother. Yeah, that but we you use. see people with the little whisk mm -hmm. in some of the coffee shops. Oh, and just watch, just because. Okay, there, there we go. go. So you whisk it a little bit. Because you're then, really trying to get rid of all the powder. And yes. Make it liquid. And sometimes, and you can even use a little sifter um, to put the uh, the teaspoon in, the powder in, and if you want it really sifted. Okay. But we just use just a little teaspoon. Mm -hmm. And then you add a little bit more water. Mm -hmm. And this is a good, this is a traditional six ounce cup. Okay. Um, we're gonna make sure it's not gonna get all over That's your, all right. your, your stove here. A messy kitchen is a happy kitchen. Yes, yes, I love that, I'm gonna <laughs> use that. So you whisk it. And then you get this deep green here, it's this beautiful. deep e earthy green. Now, uh, a lot of people that come to the tea bar like to do it as a latte. Yes, I do mm -hmm. lattes often. So you would froth the milk, you would warm the milk a little bit before and mm -hmm. um, just a couple of seconds. And then you froth that and then you pour that in and froth it some more with the whisk. There is caffeine in matcha. There is a lot of caffeine in matcha. Uh -huh. um, in fact, the matcha has more caffeine than, than coffee, but you don't get the jitters. You don't get the, the, you know, the shakes from the caffeine because the, of the way it's, um, it goes through your bloodstream. Yeah, and I feel like the acidity is different too in coffee versus matcha. Mm -hmm. Less, there's less acidity in, in tea. So, right. yep, yep. Is that ready to go? This is ready to go. And I'm sorry you don't have your favorite milk, um, but you are welcome beautiful. to. While to have I am some of that. sipping, you want to teach other people about matcha at, yes. the, at the apothecary. Tell me yes. about that. So, we are going to start a mindful uh, sip series uh, beginning next Wednesday, the um, 18th. Mm -hmm. And we're inviting people to come. It's on Eventbrite. You can sign up. But we're inviting people to do something that we're teaching when they walk into the tea bar, mm. and that is to mindfully enjoy the tea. Mm. So we're gonna talk a little bit. Clara Dalgado is um, a holistic health coach and she is a culinary artist. So she's gonna be teaching mm. this, how to 
prepare the matcha in the traditional way, mm -hmm. how to sip the matcha, how to enjoy it, um, and all the cultural background of matcha. And then she's gonna do a tea meditation with it. It's absolutely delicious. I was too busy being mindful with my key <laughs> to know if we put all the information up on the screen. We probably did already. If we didn't, go ahead and put it up now. There it is. Uh, the Pauline Tea Bar Apothecary. Thank you for coming to see us. Thank we always you. adore you. Yeah. This is so good. Jorge, I'm telling you, we sh we'll have her make you a little bit. I was going to say, listen, I'll take one and I'll try because I do want to try the matcha. It's good. <laughs>